Hi there, um, this is Murph. I will show you on cloud in a box uh, running on a SUSE uh, gallery. Um, so to run this you can go to uh, SUSEstudio.com and you should see the uh, uh, you can search for on cloud in a box uh, and it should you should be able to try, test drive this, uh, this virtual appliance. Um, to try it out you just click on this uh, test drive link And it should spin up a um, on cloud uh, in a box for you. Uh, so you can turn on the networking on if you want to access it uh, from your computer, uh, from your uh, outside network. So it takes a few minutes uh, to uh, to boot it up. Uh, if you don't want to go through the all the installation steps, uh, this is a good way to try it out. Uh, you can also download it uh, from this uh, link here, which I'm already downloading right now, uh, and you can import in your uh, VMware uh, or Xen or KVM or Microsoft Hyper-V environment, and then run it in a few minutes once you import it. So, looks like it's almost ready. So I'm gonna go here and look for the URL. Okay. Try the secure one. Nope. Maybe it's not ready yet. Let me try the other one. So maybe HTTPS is not configured. Uh, so I'm going to click on go to your own cloud here. And uh, on this page, you should see a password that you can use. So admin and own cloud 42. I think once you download, you should be able to change the configuration to allow HTTPS or maybe there's a firewall that is not being allowed. But you can play with it if you want. Okay, so I'm logged in now. So as you see here, I can see a file. Um, I, can, uh, I can edit it and save it. Um, I can upload files if I want. And I can upload musics and play from this uh, on cloud application, contacts, calendars, yeah, okay, pictures. So, this is something that you can, without paying uh, many cloud services, you can have your own on cloud uh, uh, instance uh, in your organization and you can just, uh, you know, use it uh, without relying on a cloud vendor sometimes. You know, it can be risky. Um, so give it a try. Uh, so once I download, my plan is to uh, install it on my VMware workstation and uh, on my computer and see how it goes. Thanks for watching this video.